Hello, welcome to the channel, ladies and gents. Just me, company man, H here. How we doing? Uh, we're here to talk about Indiana Jones 5 uh, and the new rumours started by uh, the Mail Online, which at this point genuinely has the, le the legitimacy of we've got this covered uh, and giant freaking robot. FYI, if you follow anyone that cites giant freaking robot as their source, don't, because... That's not a source. They're shite. Uh, I'll just say from the off. And Giant Freaking Robot, if you disagree, I mean, let's have a conversation. Uh, but the Mail Online is uh, going to be starting a wash with these rumours that Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford, is going to be replaced by Phoebe Waller Bridge. Uh, in fact, that is actually the headline that they're running with. She is the star. As Indiana Jones' sidekick next year in Harrison Ford's last outing as the gnarled adventurer. Now Phoebe Waller-Bridge is being tipped to replace the veteran actor as a female version of the fictional professor of archaeology in the adventure movie franchise. Now, tell me. I think my dog's just moved. That's great. I can move my... Uh... Here he is. Jasper Cameo. It's a Sunday. We do things differently here on Sundays. Um, you tell me, ladies and gents, how Phoebe Waller-Bridge, a character in Indiana Jones, right, an actual character in the film, can suddenly replace the actor as Indiana Jones. Well, she can't, can she? You fucking plebs. I've never understood this. I mean, what? What? T this, this. This is just bait. This is just bait. And there'll be so many people that will take it. Now, I'm not saying this isn't going to happen. FYI. It very well could happen. But the way this is worded, it's like a five-year-old did it. Who's doing your journalism? Uh, mail. Mail online. Who's doing it? Now, Phoebe Waller-Bridge is being tipped to replace the veteran actor as a female version of the fictional... How can she be a female version of the fiction... Uh, of... How could she be a female version of Professor Indiana Jones? How can she? She's already a character. You brain melt. And because of the wording, because of the, the insincerity behind the journalism here, I call bollocks on this. Uh, and I could be wrong, but I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, the film industry is awash with rumours that the Fleabag star will take over as the main Indiana adventurer, making her the first female lead since the Disney-made movies began in 1981 with Raiders of the Lost Ark. They weren't Disney-made movies back then. What? They were Lucasfilm, weren't they? I don't think Disney had a hand in them. I could be wrong. They were Lucasfilm. I, I, I could be wrong. I don't think they were Disney made. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I could have sworn Disney got it, you know, got Lucasfilm when he sold the rights to everything else. I could be wrong. But anyway, here we go. Uh, in, insiders claim Kathleen Kennedy, the Hollywood producer behind the franchise, is keen to make big bold changes with few uh, bigger than switching the lead character to a woman. One said it would be a huge statement and a great role for Phoebe. Well, yeah, of course it would. It doesn't that That's not someone saying that it's going to happen. That's just someone going, hey, what do you think about this? Oh, that'd be a big statement. That'd be a good role. Uh, Miss Kennedy's spokesman declined to comment on the rumours. I'm surprised they didn't say spokesperson. You know, it's not very really woke of you, is it? Uh, others in the industry cast doubt on the suggestion. But rumours have persisted that Miss Waller-Bridge will be a future star in the role. The role of Indiana Jones, when she's already a character. All right, then. All right, then. Uh, none of the versatile actresses, actress and writers' representatives in the UK or America responded to questions about the possibility of the new role. Why would they? Pray tell, why would they? 
Uh, apparently, Disney also did not respond when given the opportunity to comment. Uh, and in July, the 36-year-old star filmed rooftop scenes alongside her American co-star Boyd Holbrook in Glasgow City Centre for the fifth movie, uh, whose title has yet to be made public. Well, there's lots of rumours about that. The Order of Elysium and things like that. Uh, loads of rumours about this movie. Uh, while the character she plays was not spelled out, Ms. Waller-Bridge, dressed in a maroon corduroy jacket and blue trousers, as if that is remotely important, you can see how the amount of the, the utter like desperation on the amount they're trying to pad out this article. It's unbelievable. Uh, is understood to be playing an assistant to Indiana Jones. Oh my god, an assistant. She must replace him. Oh, fucking dickheads. Uh, a source said the gossip on the set is that this character will slot into the leading role. Maybe in the movie. Okay, well, I mean, like, who knows? Who knows? But the wording, I just... Mm, the uh, mm, I don't know. And there'll be so many people that'll be like, yeah, well, of course they will, because Disney. And yeah, maybe. Disney also released Jungle Cruise recently, which had, like, you know, topical gay humour in it, which is quite funny. Which normally would be seen as homophobic. They are changing stuff around. Um, and Indiana Jones, you can't call it Indiana Jones at that point. When there is no Indiana, you can't call it Indiana Jones. So what would you call it? What would you actually call it? It's not like Star Wars, where it's just the wars of the stars. Wars in stars. War space wars. S spores. Um, like it's just not the same, is it? You can't call it Indiana Jones with no Indiana Jones. In I can't see Harrison. F I can't. Well, I can see Harrison Ford signing up to anything because that guy's renowned for signing up to shit. But I can't see the character of Indiana Jones going to Phoebe Waller Bridge's character and going, "Take, take my hat. Take my whip. You're Indiana Jones now. Like fuck off." Anyway, in 2019, uh, double Golden Globe winner Ms. Wallerbridge co-wrote the screenplay for No Time to Die, the 25th James Bond film, along with Neil Pur Purvis, Robert Wade, and uh, Kerry Fukunaga. Uh, bosses said she was brought in to introduce more humour and the offbeat style of writing that has earned her a reported 22 million in less than two years, which is epic. Like, good for her. Um, but I just, I, I cannot see this being true. She's going to replace the veteran actor as a female version of the fictional professor. You're going to have to... You, you'd have to do some serious writing to get that done. But I tell you what, all the usual sorts will be reporting on this. Loving it. Just wait. L loving it. Bet they get their sources from uh, Giant Freaking Robot too. Let me know what you think though. The Mail Online, huh? Mail Online. Hope you had a good weekend. Take care.